Today we're reviewing the Nerf Rival Artemis 17 3000 Blue with a modified priming handle. It feels like these names keep getting longer. I'm Joy from Foam Fighters, and let's go! I'd like to give credit to Jared from Yegg Superstock Nerf Club for the modification. This is my first Rivals Blaster, so I'm really excited to use it. Because this is a Rivals Blaster, we tested it in different rooms so that we didn't accidentally hit any kids, and this blaster could reach the wall, so we waited a bit and got into the arena when it was empty. It wasn't too consistent, ranging from 30 feet to 70. I also wanted to see how much it would hurt if you got shot. And it left a mark. I took 10 feet away and took 10 shots with only one landing. I thought since my first shot hit the target, I would do better, but I guess I was wrong. When we were testing how hard the blaster hit, I stood about 20 to 30 feet away and we missed most of the shots. But if you were closer, let's say about 10 to 20 feet, you'd definitely hit all your opponents. This blaster has three compartments that you can access by pulling down this slide. At first glance, it seems like each of these can hold 10 rounds with totals up to 30, but by using this little trick where you close the blaster and then open it again, it leaves room for more, totaling to 33 rounds. If you have enough rounds on you, you can reload this blaster pretty quickly, but you need so many that that might not be an option. This blaster took about 20 seconds to unload, but that number could change dramatically depending on luck. Sometimes multiple rounds can fire, making it feel like a shotgun. This means that you could empty faster if you get more of these bursts and less if it fires normally. There's also a chance that the darts will fall out if you point the blaster down and move around or prime. A cool feature about the loading and firing mechanism is that the blaster knows which chamber is loaded, meaning that it will only fire from that one, and if all are loaded, it goes from right to left. Kind of. Like I said, it's inconsistent with how many rounds it fires, so sometimes it'll take rounds from multiple barrels. Now it's time for the this blaster is pretty big. Not long, big. If I was playing a game and I saw this, I would be shivering in fear. Especially after getting hit by it. The blue color is nice, though not my favorite. And the orange reminds you that even though this thing's a beast, it's still a nerf blaster. I have got to mention the modification. It changes the grip on the priming handle, and not only does it feel nice, it looks way better than the original blaster. There's so many little details that make it feel great to use, but that's all for today, and see you next time.